I am being attacked with um, back pain attacks, implant attacks in my back. I've got a red circular area in my back inflamed, which seems to be inflamed a lot lately when I'm being attacked in my back. Um, this is always the same spot. Okay, so the last couple times I went to get help from the emergency room, which is how I've been treating my back pain because of the crackdown on opioids that doctors are doing. Um, let's see, the time before last, I didn't get enough medication to um, get through the problem. And then the second time, most recent time I went to the emergency room, the implant attack was turned down while I was in the hospital. And then they didn't give me any medication. They um, maybe gave me a prescription for some muscle relaxers. Now, I supposedly they want me to address this through my general practitioner. Um, which, you know, I would have to make the appointment weeks ahead of time, but I don't think he will um, work with me with what I need, which is opioid-based pain medication because the pain is so severe. Now, this pain shouldn't be happening at all. This pain is being created by an external source. Now, I just got hints today that Michelle DiCostanzo is linked to this episode. I don't know if that means she's linked to all episodes. Probably not. I've had hints in previous um, attacks that people are paying money. So there's some kind of source that has access to these implants. And I don't know if it's one source or multiple sources. But they seem to... Um, I guess they, they get paid to attack me. So Michelle DiCostanzo may have be doing this in retaliation for me exposing her criminal acts. Um, but why is the person who calls attention to the crime the one that gets punished and the criminals don't get punished? Um, and... Why am I not punished through due process? If I've really done something wrong, why wouldn't I be punished through due process rather than just tortured remotely like this? And also, you know, this is like, they have access to everything. They can attack my, they can kill me if they want. I mean, you know, technically they can. They can push a button and kill a person that's wired up like I am. So this doesn't, this is not okay. Um, meanwhile, I've also found what I think is a fairly, you know, multi-step plot to kill Chris off. Meanwhile, they're putting my daughters in harm's way, and um, I can't, no, no person should be expected to cope with this, especially in the United States of America. Last, the other thing about the last times I went to the doctor to address the back pain is this, because the, these red areas are inflamed on my back, visibly inflamed, um, they started prescribing me antibiotics as if I have an infection and I have not filled one single prescription for antibiotics because I, I don't have an infection. I never did. I don't have a fever, but the first time I was prescribed antibiotics, I was prescribed a specific antibiotic and when I looked it up, I saw that it was mostly the type of medication that's prescribed for people with infections of their nose. And I think that the reason why she prescribed that antibiotic was because she was trying to tell me that the back pain was punishment for detecting the crime. And so it was coded. And a lot of what they do at the hospital is coded. You know, they leave just like they leave a blue glove on the ground or, you know, so that I in in my exam room or something like that. They do little things like that. Put me in specific numbered rooms to uh, indicate that, you know, what they're doing is controlling, you know, or what they see themselves as doing is controlling. But um, it's basically equivalent to beating someone up because, you know, they're telling you to stop committing a crime or, you know, various crimes, massive crimes, massive medical fraud um, is one of them. 
because when you make someone sick on purpose and then they force to use the hospital, you're making money off of, you're basically breaking someone's legs and then making money off of, um, you know, both breaking their legs and repairing their legs. That's what it is. This looks like to me, it's pretty, um, obvious, but it's much more than breaking legs, a lot more expensive types of treatments and diseases and, um, It's just a big crime. I'm really sh pretty sure that the criminals have not, I mean, so a lot of this information has come to me, you know, little hints and guidelines through telepathy and other, you know, obviously it's other intelligence agencies. So this is definitely something for somebody to investigate and to access the knowledge you know, if, if I just can't stop, you know, there's just no other, um, there's no other solution to this than the criminal justice system. I cannot, I cannot think of any, it's just so easy to figure out how to solve this crime. All it takes is the willingness to do it. And, um, I think not to act is criminal in this case. And I know that um, there's probably other people. I mean, there's certainly a lot of people claiming similar types of things. So it's like a massive crime. Massive, 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 massive crime. That needs to be addressed by the criminal justice system. Otherwise, it's just going to get... It's going to become how we live. If it hasn't already, which... It's, that's what's happening. It's becoming how we live. 